Hello. Been a while since I've last done one of these videos, huh? Anyways, today we'll be taking a look at the Alfa Romeo GTV has been available in World United for several months now. The GTV served as Alfa Romeo's flagship coupe with a spider variant, aptly named the Alfa Spider, accompanying it from the beginning of its production run in 1994 before being replaced with the Brera in 2005. The model shown here is the Phase 2 variant, which was introduced in 1998 before being replaced with the updated Phase 3 by 2003. The engine house in this model is the 3-liter 24-valve V6, capable of just shy of 220 horsepower and 200 pound-feet of torque. 0-60 to 60 was under 7 seconds, and could propel the car to nears makes no difference 150 miles an hour. The car received high praise during its run, with motoring journalist Jeremy Clarkson even calling it one of the best sports cars of its time in 1998. There are six GTV variants available for purchase in WUG. The stock red variant at $350,000, D-Class 318. A lightly tuned white variant at the same cost, D-Class 329. The Forza Italia design at $400,000, D-Class 347. The Junior variant, largely based on a GTV Cup car, at $450,000, D-Class 396. The Veloce variant, also based on a GTV Cup car, at $500,000, C-Class 491. And finally, the Turismo, a highly tuned Cup car variant, at $2,450,000, A-Class 613. This was originally tuned in mind for the top of B-Class, but since then the GTV has been retuned, which affected its OA. The only unique cosmetics for the GTV is a Zender or Zender Double Spoiler, which are based off of factory options. To get the most out of the GTV in terms of performance, this is the recommended color set of parts from top to bottom. Green, yellow, yellow, blue, yellow, and yellow. Green force inductions and transmissions also work well, thanks to the World United Tuning Guide for the parts list.
going forward with these videos, I'll be giving the cars on World United two separate runs on two different tracks. As this GTV is in B-Class, I'll be running it on a B-Class specific leaderboard at Rosewood and Lions. Lower classes will likely get a chosen track soon, it's just a work in progress at the moment. Afterwards, I'll give the cars a run on Wild Center District, which is entirely open class for an overall leaderboard. Class specific boards will be shared across servers, whilst Wild will be a WUG only board. So we punched in our time with a 1 minute 30.96. Since this is the first card to have a time submitted, it puts it on the top. For now. I suspect this will likely be flooded very soon with various vehicles from servers across the board. Don't be surprised if you see the same vehicle on the board multiple times just to show the difference in how they perform from server to server. The GTV is a fairly solid choice for races that's main focus is more on high speed and acceleration, as this car has plenty of get up and go to help give it an advantage in such races. However, due to its front wheel drive configuration, understeer is actually quite strong, enough so that it can become a huge hassle in technical tracks. Its nitrous power certainly isn't anything to write home about either. Overall, if you intend to use this for C and B class races, it can make for a solid choice, but if you aren't prepared to take your corners carefully, the understeer will send you running right into the wall, so you'd really gotta be careful. 
Overall, I would say this car would probably sit around the sub-meta tier. It's not far off, but it's just a little bit too out of range to make it in, in my opinion. And that's going to do it for this video. If you got any questions, leave them down in the comments below. I'll try to get more of these out when I can as I enjoy making world content and hope to make it more of a regular series once again. Let me know what you think of this new direction with the videos. Check out my social links down below and if you'd like to see your name in a future video, it's just $1 a month on my Patreon. Thanks y'all and I hope to see you in the world soon. You have to start with hello.